Snap my glasses. Thank you, With a green burial, the space is dug and the body is put into the hole and then it's covered back up. The goal of a green burial is to keep it as natural as possible without disturbing the land. The body can be buried in a pine box casket or some other biodegradable casket or just wrapped in a shroud. Natural burial is actually a set of different practices. It's not just one thing, but those practices are all meant to not inhibit the decomposition of human remains. There's a lot of things that go in the ground that just stay there. Concrete, metal, plastics, formaldehyde, the vault, the big casket. Somewhere in the middle would be cremation. One of the issues with cremation is that it does use up quite a bit of fossil fuel resources and it does emit carbon dioxide. So if you're thinking about a spectrum of how green different burial choices might be, um, you would have natural burial as being kind of the most natural, cremation being somewhere in the middle, and then more kind of traditional US burial practices as being kind of the least environmentally friendly. Embalming was um, used more frequently when bodies had to be transported back from the Civil War, right? They used embalming fluid in order to preserve those bodies so that they wouldn't decompose and that they could make it home to their loved ones. When Abraham Lincoln died, there was actually a funeral procession that proceeded from you know the DC area all the way to Illinois. Basically, it was a funeral procession that was very much open to the American public, and they had to use embalming for this. And so that's where this like wide popularization is said to kind of come from. These days, we have modern refrigeration practices, and that actually means that there's less of a need for embalming, and yet we just keep doing it because that's the way we've always done it. One woman said to me, this is the only place that I can be where I don't cry. Her son's here. You know, how do you not cry, you know, when you've lost a child? But when she's here, she doesn't cry. So I think that right there just, I'll never forget her telling me that because I think, um, I think that's real healing. I think that's real grief healing. Looking at this beautiful landscape, brings a smile to my face when we come to look at Julie. It's not about sobbing and, um, I mean, obviously we miss her terribly, but um, um, she was happy to be here. She loved the natural world and, and, and really respected it. And she felt like she wanted to go back to nature as quickly as possible. Julie in December of 2018 was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer Somehow in conversation in that first few weeks, we told her about Bill, our other friend's husband that was buried here. And she's, she asked me to bring her up here and show her this place. And the minute she got here, she said, this is it. I need to change my plans. And she wrote a check that day. It was, she was just um, clear that this is where she wanted to be. It gave her a lot of comfort in uh, finding this place. For natural burial to become more mainstream or more widely accepted, I think it's just going to be a process of time of people becoming more familiar with it and not afraid of it or not looking sideways at it. Or people have these conceptions or they have um, concerns that we're just being disrespectful of the dead and we're leaving them in the woods somewhere. There, there are a lot of, or that animals are gonna dig up the body or we're gonna contaminate the water source or there's a lot of fears around it, but they're really based on just lack of knowledge. We need to educate ourselves to make choices for ourselves and then write these choices down and tell someone that we love. Julie set a great example for um, 
how to kind of take control of that process, even though, even when you feel like you don't have control and that, and how, what a huge gift that was for her own peace of mind, but it, it gave us so much peace of mind. This, this the denial of the inevitable, I think, um, and not talking about it doesn't change that. People are scared to talk about death. People want to deny that it exists, but it's as natural as being born. And I think we should um, embrace it in that way as a sacred time. And I feel so lucky that we got to share that sacred time with, with Julie.